Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to a FNAF theory video. I'm bringing these back, except this time you see my autistic face. Um, yeah, because I'm autistic. Maybe I want to flex. Um, <laughs> I know some of you are saying I'm addicted to things, and maybe I should stop spending my money on uh, things. You see, this is not an addiction, okay? This is an addiction of Slurpees. Trust me, it's not. It's not an addiction. It's a mutual relationship. Um, you know, it's only $25 a week. I mean... Is it 25? I mean, 5 times 3 or 7. Um, I can't do math. I am apologize. Anyways, so today I wanted to discuss the hidden FNAF location. You probably have no idea it exists. And, you know, you may be thinking, what are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about Chica's party room. You may think that this is the fan, the the mini game in Five Nights at Freddy's Three, but it's actually it was actually something in the source code for Sister Locations weeks and teaser. In the source code, you would see Chica's Party World. The thing is, is that this really hasn't ever explained anything because, like, why would this be here, especially for the Sister Location weeks? Because Chica was not in the Sister Location. So, what, what, why would this be in the source code? Why would have Scott put this in? Because it's hinting at the fact that possibly Chica was not actually a part of uh, the Fazbear crew originally. And possibly Foxy too, but to be fair, Foxy was in sister location. So. And the reason people believe this is because... Um, Chica was not in Sister Location. She was inside, uh... She was not in Sister Location at all. Um, and it was just Bonnie as, uh, Freddy's puppet and Foxy of the original cast. And with this leak, it's pretty much assumed that, uh, Chica's Party World was an original establishment, possibly made by Afton, or maybe by another company that got bought out, or something else. A sister location, maybe, um, of the Fredbear stuff. So, and even to this day, there's still not a lot of information. People theorize that the Springlocks, uh, from, uh, Night 4 of Sister Location, people theorize that it's actually the, uh, that it's probably Chica, however, I believe it may be a puppet thing, because, well, it can be anything, but it, it, but Funtime Chica's thing, her mouth, does not fit with the skeleton, so it could possibly be another Chica model, which has been seen with other animatronics, there's, like, so many different variations of Spring Bonnie, so, like, it could be possible that could be the same for Chica, so... I think the interesting thing here is the fan interpretations of, uh, what Chica's party world would have looked like, because unlike Fredbear's, where the games actually gave you a good idea, for Chica's party world, there's barely any info on this. So I feel like we should go and check out a few fan interpretations. Not only do these, uh, fan creations kind of explain where where uh, Wallbit and uh, the the Molten Freddy from and Showtime Baby came from, but I mean Scrap Baby came from, but it it, it adds a lot of cool uh, little lore, I guess. I think Andy Matronic's uh, version here is probably one of the most. I think this is kind of what started the whole thing. Um, like here, it shows Wallbit, uh, JJ. Uh, fun time Chica, it's like one that looks like the Night 4 thing, and the Golden Cupcake with a Ennard that's not Wyvern. And I think this was kind of what set for most of the fan base to kind of have these characters as the main cast. Uh, here's another one, it's kind of, of a bunch of edits here. It actually includes uh, Dee Dee over here, uh, Unwyvern Ennard again, um, Lolbit with Bonnet. 
Which is kind of weird because Lolbit's supposed to have a hook instead. But I, I guess that kind of explains it, but I'd rather that be for like... I mean, it would work better for Yendo, I would say, but... I, I, I appreciate the differentiation here. Music Man's here, I guess. We have the, uh, the version of Funtime Chica from the uh, Freddy Fazbear Pizza Simulator. And uh, JJ, of course. This SFM render kind of actually has a yellow Funtime Freddy here, which is kind of near uh, this, uh, this uh, bonnet. And then this Funtime Chica, it's... You know, I've never seen this model before, but it's really cool looking. I like that. It seems to be a head hack, actually. Um, or probably a custom model. But And then there's Lolbit. And they kind of... Lolbit has a brighter tone. And it's more uh, old in here, too. Um, here's kind of the same thing. Um, the, the, the Chica's kind of different colors are different, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, and this one kind of just takes all these random things and mashes them together. You know. Though those deviant art renders are pretty cool and all, and kind of give you an idea of what could possibly be. Um, there's also a fan game. Yeah, fan games. There's actually a few of them. I think the best example here is uh, Chica's Party World on Game Jolt by Shiny Rubin and Bomb Bon Studio. The game was cancelled. I mean, what did you expect? It's a FNAF fan game. <laughs> but it actually had a pretty cool cast of characters here with unique designs. So unlike most of the depictions, it has a uh, Shadow Chica, which is actually a model on SFM too, if you can find. And then JJ has a unique design. The spring lock suit. You know, I like the design for this. Looks pretty cool. Um, you know, kind of like, you know, kind of, you know how like in Five Nights at Candy, you have old candy and then you have uh, new candy? I feel like that would work as a uh, very cool dynamic. That it kind of just hints that there was older animatronics. And I think that would work. Um, then you have Funtime Bonnie, and then Chica, who, uh, the new Funtime Chica, who has pretty cool gold stuff on her. And then we have what, what looks to be Yendo, but his colors are more based off uh, Molten Freddy's look. And then, uh, you have Lolbit. Yeah, there's actually something in the back there, too. Um, but yeah, Lolbit has a cool design. It reminds me of the... I don't know if I'll be able to find this image because it's like a very old model. It was this model. I can't, I can't freaking find who originally made it. You know, those model makers always take down their models from the, the Steam Workshop. If you see a FNAF model you really like, download it now because those model makers may take it down for any reason, and I, and there's, and you'll never know why. <laughs> so if you want to, if you want to use it. Don't wait, don't wait, because you could just lose it forever. You, you don't know how many models you could lose out on. You know, it's kind of like those Fortnite FOBO stores. You just gotta get it while it's uh, here, or else it may be gone forever. But yeah, that's a pretty cool in a interpretation of the Chica's Party World. Um, there's also another one. It's actually getting a reboot in a more uh, poly style, uh, Chica's Party World rebate. Which is done by these lovely people. Uh, they have people from the original Chica's Party World on it too. So it's nice to see Shiny Rubin and There's No Steak work together to remake this. So, so what? So there's also another fan game. Um, uh, by me. You know, I, I had to, I had to, I had to self-insert here. <laughs> so yes, here's my version of Chica's Party World. It's still in development. It's called Five Nights at Chica's. Right, that's a bad title, by the way, since if you look that up on Google, you won't get my game. Um, 
And for it, I kind of did something similar to Andy and Metronic stuff, and I kind of added a few new additions. It has the Funtime Chica from uh, the frickin' uh, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Simulator wall bit and uh, Enter. And it also has Showtime Baby, which is kind of what I would expect the unwivered version of the... The unwivered version of Baby from uh, the frickin' Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Simulator. And I know it seems kind of weird to unwiver those one, those scrap animatronics, but their models are completely different from what you saw in the original game. So obviously they had to get their upgrades from somewhere, you know? Like they went and found different existing models to repair themselves with. Which I'll explain more in the Spring Bonnie video I'll be working on soon. And I also have uh, Showtime Freddy here, I guess, that I also added into the game. Which I'm thinking of giving the feature to throw the plush toys at you or whatever. And there's also Funtime Bonnie and the, un and the old Chica suit from the Sister Location Night 4. I have that in my game too, that I made by myself because there were no models at the time for it. And then there's also a secret one, which I'll, uh, you'll have fun finding, I guess, when the game comes out. I haven't been working on it. Fredbear's Free takes priority here. The last fan game I'd like to look at is a one that, uh, it's actually a remake of an older, uh, game from 2016. So, there was a Chica's Party World back then, too, and it was made by Rookie Game. This one actually goes a completely different and unique route. It uses the FNAF 1 Chica instead of the uh, Funtime Chica. It also features Balloon Boy, JJ of course, and Golden Lull Bit. And the game looks pretty good. I mean, I think it was finished. I cannot say sure, but I noticed that it was rendered in Source Filmmaker, I believe. Could be wrong on that, but it looks like Source. And honestly, I feel like... It seems pretty basic, but I, I really like it. I think it looks pretty good. And I think these are really good examples of fan creations, making a uh, thing out of a thing that doesn't really exist. We're probably never going to see what Chica Party World actually officially looked like, but the fans managed to create a completely cool, obscure universe, that is, of uh, Chica's Party World. And you've seen that with the Fred Bears game, but this was the lesser example here, and I wanted to give some light to that. Um, and I think a lot of good work was done on this, uh, on these games, and on these uh, posters and stuff. Um, even though some of the games, well, one of them got cancelled, but even though one of them got cancelled, the work that was done for the game was really good, and I have to appreciate that it's actually getting a remake by one of the people who actually was working on the original, and, um, yeah, I, I think, I think that I just wanted to sh show you all the, the uh, hidden story of FNAF, you never knew, about Chica's Party World, and how fans can create something out of a single message on a website, you know? But we have to thank Andy Matronic for the original image, because I feel like, even though it was based off of people theorizing that Walbit and JJ and Yendo could have been part of the original cast, I feel like, you know, I feel like it, even though there's no evidence for any of this, I feel like it, it's, I feel like you made something amazing out of, uh, an amazing concept out of pure speculation. And I think that's a good thing about theories, is that it can lead to things like this. And yeah. Uh, next video I'm going to be talking about the, the potential spring body suits, and talking about all the ones that were in the games. Well, maybe next episode, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try and do more of the FNAF content, because back in the day, back in the day, I used to always do these theory videos during the FNAF 3 days and FNAF 2 days, but I'll explain to you one day what happened to them. I'll just say I never deleted it on my own. I never wanted those videos to be deleted. They're at my history. But that should wrap this video up. 
Um, I, I know a lot of you are coming from the Theft King video. Um, I don't really like talking about drama unless I'm involved in it in some way, so... Yeah. So you'll probably be seeing more FNAF content from me from now on, because I know a lot of you in my fan base are FNAF fans, so... Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, or actually learned something new here. Um, speaking about my mic, next video it will be boosted up. I promise you that. Alright? Sorry that it wasn't boosted up this video, I forgot. But thank you.